up everyone, this is Jamar from Jamfrog35, and this is Hot Topic Reviews. I'm uh, basically calling it right now because I got some things from Hot Topic for you to showcase it. Um, it's not going to be pop television figurines this time around. Oh no, it's something a little bit more different. For example, t-shirts, uh, uh, jackets, um, belts, etc. But if you have anything you want me to get from Hot Topic, place them down in the comment section down below. Well, what is basically Hot Topic is a place where you buy, well, <laughs> items that represent your favorite franchise, such as DC, Marvel, TV shows like Adventure Time, Power Rangers, which is a movie actually coming up this, coming soon, and, um, so many more. Even the Doctor Who series, which is my most favorite thus far. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions, place them down in the comment section down below. But enough diddly dadly, let's get on with it. Alright, so I got some new things like I said beforehand, but I'm going to showcase a, a different perspective. Or, But I want to show it, uh, do it a little bit more different this time around. I got to some new jackets, which I want to showcase it right now. First off, is my Gravity Falls uh, vest. <sighs> Great Scott! <laughs> uh, this is not a Marty McFly, but this is uh, Gravity Falls. Which, gra what is Gravity Falls? It's a little cartoon uh, series, which formerly was on Disney XD. Now, um, with only two seasons, is the best cartoon animated show that takes points of the twins having a great summer vacation at Orango Falls, Gravity Falls to be exact, where they have some mystery that unlock mystery beyond mystery. But I'm not going to spoil the entire thing. If you want to check it out, then go to or go watch uh, some of the shows on Disney XD or if you have Netflix, you can check it out there. Uh, it fits snuzzly. I never actually wear a vest. Well, I have wear a vest before, but it's been when I was very young to be exact. But uh, yeah, it fits nicely. It has that, uh, oh, I'm looking the wrong way. It has the uh, right, uh, different kinds of symbol, as you can see there. It didn't show it on the Gravity Falls, but I think it's mainly because it's. Uh, I think it's. They probably did that so that they can say this is Stippers' vest or something like that. But uh, let's try out another jacket, and that is not other than. Da 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 da! Legend of Zelda, people! Now I can do Legend of Zelda uh, reviews or walkthroughs with this. It fits pretty nice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, let's probably not do that. Ah, it's like a. It's kind of. It's like a. When, um, <clears throat> the hat, it's kind of like the hat from Legend of Zelda, where it like, has to, it rings like a green tunic and a pointy hat, kind of like an elf, but it's, he's not an elf. He's not an elf, people. It looks pretty nice. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be it for design-wise, but it looks pretty cool. I'm going to zip this up, so give me a sec. All right. I feel like a Jedi, basically. Okay. Now enough with that. Let's get into the real thing. The pop television figurines. So. 
Let's see what I have in the bag. Oh, Dr. Albert Wiley from the Mega Man series. Basically, he's the main villain from the Mega Man series. Uh, that the main hero, Mega Man, or Rock, if you prefer, or Rockman from Japan, in which he's been trying to prove his intelligence by taking over the world. All because he was very, very jealous of his colleague, Dr. Light. Alright, so we got that unboxed, so let's show it off. I gotta say, he has really nice details, as you can see here. I, I kind of like the, the design of it. It kind of looks like Albert Einstein, which technically Dr. Wiley is based off of Albert Einstein in a, a alternative way. I got he got a nice uh, detail with the bow tie, the pants, the belt. It looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little smear of paint though right there, as you can see. Uh, maybe you don't see it on camera, but uh, it looks pretty fine. I, in detail. So let's see how well he can stand up. Okay, maybe a little bit top heavy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's a little, his head is a little top heavy. I maybe if I can just twist it a little bit. There we go. If he does it on this side, um. He doesn't fall down that easily, but if I decided to uh, twist his head towards the front, yeah, he's going to fall over very easily. I think it's mainly because of the hair on the back that's kind of making him weigh down a little bit. But other than that, he looks perfectly fine. Just like this. So let's get into the other bag, shall we? And it is, you fool, it's Mr. T, or B.A. Baracus, from the A-Team. Cue A-Team music. No, seriously, cue A-Team music. Alright, so, let's see. Oh, man, he looks really awesome. I've seen uh, little bits of the A-Team, even the movie, which I have to say, doesn't look all that bad. I, I mean, it's, I can see why most people don't like it, because it's a little bit more action-packed and maybe a little bit differentiated from the original, but it, the movie looks pretty nice. <laughs> also like the haircut style, the mohawk and beard in. Nice. Um, got really good design on the uh, uniform itself. Mr. T! You fool! And it doesn't have the uh, I, wait, maybe it does? Uh, it doesn't. Ah, well. I'm thinking this is a little bit too small to put those uh letters on the rings anyways so let's see how well he can stand up compared to dr wiley and he stands up pretty well not top heavy like dr wiley um i think you can twist his head around like so to give it a little bit more of an epic pose but other than that yeah he it's a okay all right and that's about it. If this is your mind from Dragon Fire 35, stay ready to be awesome, and of course, have a happy day. Bye everyone, and take care.